Well, here is a really special follow-up that we just can't wait to share with you. Last week, we told you about Dane Pratt, a I hospital employee at Mercy One who reads to critically ill children. No Tonight, KCCI's Lara Terrell shows us viewers touched by his compassion responded with their own acts of kindness. Flour, sugar. This story has gone global, and thanks to the generosity of complete strangers, thousands of books are pouring into Mercy One Children's Hospital in Des Moines. Sorting and stacking kept volunteers busy Thursday. So that one's from Minneapolis. As they wade through a mountain of children's books. Some of the cards are really heartfelt, and it's really cool to open and see. People from across the world have been sending them here to Mercy One. After Dane Pratt's story went viral. Flour and seven pounds of sugar. KCCI introduced you to Pratt on January 7th. The cardiovascular profusionist not only runs the heart and lung machine for the hospital's sickest patients like Parker Baker. One day. He also reads to them at their bedside. They can still hear and sometimes it helps to let them know that they're not alone. So touched by this simple act of compassion. Parker's mom snapped this photo. Her online post captured our attention and the nation's. It's overwhelming. Uh, we never expected it to get this big. So big that Pratt appeared on Good Morning America Thursday, where Disney donated hundreds more books. You know, a little tearful. Got a few tears in the eyes watching him, and um, we're so happy that he's getting the recognition that he deserves. But the story gets even better. Say, ma, 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 ma. This is Parker Baker now. No longer sedated, she's off her ECMO machine and thriving. She is the epitome of a miracle. Um, I think everybody's surprised and shocked of how quickly she's made a turnaround. The Baker family hopes to go home soon, but they will never forget what Pratt did in their daughter's most vulnerable moments. And they hope you don't either. I hope people are inspired by it. I hope they think outside the box and what they can, small things they can do for others. You know how delicate In Des Moines, I always feel. Laura Terrell, in the morning, KCCI 8 News. Terrible. Big was munching his I was news leader. First mouthful. Isn't that awesome? The hospital plans to send a book home with every pediatric patient who receives care there. And the family is asking people across the country to pay it forward by donating a children's book to a hospital in their area, taking a picture and using the hashtag books for Parker. Oh, that's great. 